This is the tutorial for the morecalculators.com tax calculator. At morecalculators.com, we have over 20 different free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We invite you to try one or a few of our calculators today at our homepage at morecalculator.com. To get to the tax calculator, you'll just scroll down to near the bottom of the page where it says tax calculator. We'll go ahead and click on that and you will now see tax calculator. The tax calculator is pretty simple and straightforward. It asks you for your income, your tax filing status, um, it also asks you for state taxes, and that's pretty much it. For our income, we're going to use 120 grand a year. So we'll go ahead and type this guy in. Next, it asks us for our federal tax filing status. This is your filing status with the IRS. You have four choices, married filing jointly and surviving spouses. The next choice is head of household. The next choice is single individual. And the final choice is married filing separate returns. So we'll go ahead and just check the first one here, married filing jointly. The next one is an add-on for state taxes. States charge between 0 and 11% for state income tax. If you enter a percentage here, the calculator will calculate your state income tax for you as well. Um, some states do not have an income tax rate. Others have all kinds of various different rates. Colorado is 4.65%, so we'll just go ahead and type in 4.65%. There is one more entry blank here. It's called the other field, and it says other. Please estimate my total federal and state taxes based solely on this percentage. Basically, what this is telling you is if you use this box, it's going to ignore all the other boxes except your salary. It will ignore the federal income tables as well as the state add-on. So your options are to only use this field or use the federal field and the add-on state field. So those are your two options for this calculator. For this example, we're going to leave it blank. Now that we're ready to uh, submit our information and get our tax estimate, remember our annual salary is 120 grand, our state income tax is 4.65%. We click on submit, and our estimated tax bill is $28,268. The calculator also tells you what your tax rate is estimated to be. So we'll go over here, and it says estimated federal income tax rate, 18.91%. So basically what this is doing is it's taking your income tax, federal income tax bill and multiplying it by your income to figure out what your federal income tax rate is. Now, it also has a estimated combined federal and state income tax rate of 23.56%. So what this is doing is it's taking the 18.91, adding on your state add-on, which in this particular case, we typed in 4.65, and it comes up with 23.56. The next little part here says estimated federal income taxes, estimated state income taxes, estimated total income taxes. And then a little to the right, it has the actual numbers. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see all of this on one screen because we want to make sure you're able to actually read the information. So we got to keep the video small. So that's that. Um, so that's all of the information in the calculator. Of course, we have all kinds of various disclaimers here. Um, you know, buyer beware. While we're using actual IRS documents, it does not take a new consideration any of the various adjustments that uh, you know people make on their taxes and additions and subtractions and uh, you know dependents and the alternative minimum tax all kinds of stuff there's could be millions of different tax situations out there 
we couldn't possibly get them all into this calculator. So you really have to be careful. This is a very rough guess. If you're looking for a more accurate guess, you really need to contact a financial advisor. And of course, our company is not a financial advisor and we are not, um, we should not be relied upon for any financial advice. Now, if we uh, go back one page here, you remember I told you about this other box? <clears throat> We're going to use this other box real quick. And let's just say I wanted to, to uh, type in 10%. Now, since I've already uh, done a calculation once, um, I need to go up here and uncheck any of these boxes in the federal tax filing status. Otherwise, the computer will think I'm trying to get the federal income tax rate and it won't take this box into consideration down here. Remember, this box down here ignores everything above it. So it will ignore the federal income tables as well as the state add-on we've talked about before. So that would mean you'd need to put in your federal and state taxes, whatever percentage you like for it. So we're going to do 10%. Now remember, our income is 12 grand. So we should get an estimated tax bill of 12 grand. And if we go up here, you will see that our estimated tax bill is in fact 12 grand. Now it does not draw the chart for us or anything else because um, it, it assumes we already know everything, the 12 grand and the 10%. So that's how that works. So that is the tax calculator at morecalculators.com. If you have any questions for us, please click on the Help Center, which is near the top of the morecalculators.com homepage, and uh, you will be able to get help or leave commentary for our site. Thank you very much, and have a great day.